Hello and welcome back to MB Tech. My name is Matt Bingham and today we're going to be talking about the Cotello server. We're going to be installing the Cotello server in what I've set up as the Bing Lab and what it will do is it will actually somewhat take place of or replace what was called Spacewalk or Red Hat Satellite Server. Um, basically what it is is like the newest version of it. Um, there is a version that uh, Red Hat does provide but this is the open source version. Um, so basically it uses what's called Foreman and Pulp, Candlepin, Puppet, and the actual service it's called or the workflow and web GUI is called Cotello. Um, so we'll be installing the Cotello part of this and then we'll go further in and actually set up different types of scenarios so that we can build systems pretty much on the fly, um, almost using like Kickstart type of uh, information from repos that we've downloaded and stuff like that. I know that's a mouthful, I know that's a lot of information, but I just thought I'd give you just a good high level overview of it. This is just going to be a quick, easy install of the basic part of it, and then there'll be multiple parts that will go into more detail of each part of it. So this will be just the main install, get to the web GUI interface, log in as admin, and just kind of take a look at the actual uh, interface itself. So this should be a pretty short and sweet uh, install of that, but I just wanted to go over and tell you what we'll be uh, following in that uh, for that. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to have a CentOS 7 minimal install, you know, just a basic one that we've been installing from future ones as well. Nothing installed on it. Make sure it's updated, and then we'll go through the uh, setup installation steps for uh, Cotello on there. Okay, first thing is, is once we have the uh, CentOS uh, minimal installed and everything is there, we want to make sure that we have uh, Crony installed, which is basically the NTP synchronization because uh, time is very important with the Cotello server itself. So we need to make sure that Crony is installed. The yum install. Uh, it's up to the latest and grace, so that looks good. Next, we need to check the configuration. Etsy is going to be crony.conf. And here we need to make sure that our server is listed here, which it is, server admin1. Um, so that looks good as well. And then next, we want to verify. The sources and the sources are pointing with the asterisk meaning that it is using that one as this primary and we're 77 milliseconds off if that um, so that's real close and everything looks good that way next thing we need to do is actually uh, I found the best documentation on the forum and uh, and how to install Cotello so from here for 3.10 which is the latest version there is a release candidate out there but I recommend staying with the 3.10 um, all you have to do here is for the required repositories is to select your operating system. Um, so you've got Enterprise Linux 7 and then you've got uh, CentOS 7. So we're going to do this one. So you just cut and paste these. Copy, go back to your, your server and paste them. Okay, once that's done, you need to install the... Uh, Form and release SCL, Python, and Django. Looks like those are already installed on this system, so we're all good there. Just going to clear the screen again one more time. And then this time, we're actually going to install Cotello. So we're going to do yum. Yes, install Cotello. And it's going to go through and check all the dependencies and make sure that we're good to go or that we can continue to uh, go through this. Um, since we did do a, a automatic Y, it is going through and installing all of these packages as well. And then once we're done, we should be able Okay, the install of Cotello is completed, but we have not set up the actual Foreman installer with a list of scenarios. So what I'll do is I'll type in that command, which is Foreman. installer and then list scenarios and these are basically the ones you got your foreman foreman proxy or Cotello 
we're actually going to be doing the Catello one, but what I've also done is I've put a, put, I've put a bunch of different, uh, not really flags, but I guess you'd say uh, parameters already input in there so that it already pre-populates it. Um, so it's a very long string. If you wanted to, you could just say form an installer scenario Catello, and you could answer all these questions through the install itself. But uh, this one here actually sets up the initial organization, which is MB Tech, the form and initial location, which is going to be Bing Lab, the proxy DHCP is going to be false because I already have the DHCP server that's being provided by the admin one. Same with DNS. We've got DNS and DHCP taken care of already. If you don't have those taken care of and you want this to do all, everything, it can actually be a DHCP server as well as a DNS server. Um, and then we've got our form and... Uh, the TFTP server, we want it to be a TFTP server. Uh, we do want it to do Puppet and Proxy Puppet CAs and Puppet Run and Proxy uh, SSH and Puppet Run Interval um, as well. So there is the big line there. This will all be in the documentation um, and on the website itself. Okay, now we're going to do that big long line again and see if it works this time. Okay, it's going through the install now, preparing the installation. Okay, looks like it was successful. Um, it says that it is running at this specified HTTPS address and there's the password. So make sure you write down this password and uh, we will take a look at that and see what's going on. And now we're here, so it's admin. And then our password. Which is this. And we're logged in. This is what it looks like from the uh, initial install. First thing we were going to want to do is actually change that uh, administrator. So we'll go to users and we're admin. And we are going to change that password to something that we can remember. Okay, we're going to log out, log back in with our new password. are now logged in as you can tell some of the stuff has been filled in and that's because of we use that long uh, thing there and that was organization so MB tech was the organization and then our location was going to be Bing lab so all it did is just help kind of pre-fill some of the information in there there's a lot of information about all these different things I'll try to get into some of them I won't be able to get into all of them uh, because there's so many different pieces and parts but I just wanted to show you basically the uh, install of this part of it and then we'll go into the other parts where we're actually downloading different repos and stuff like that thank you for your time again if you would please subscribe like tell me what you'd like to cover tell me what i need to cover and stuff like that and i'll try to do my best to uh, give you the best product that i can thank you have a good night